Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Adrian and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and take down the Kodiak Canvas 10x10 tent and also talk about some of its features. So, one thing that you need to do is unzip these doors because this allows air to pull into the tent when you're erecting it. And if these are shut, it creates a suction inside the tent and it's really hard to lift it. Another door open. And the first thing you need to do is stake the tent out. Okay, all four corners done, and now I'm gonna work in the middle sections. Now, I'm in pretty ideal conditions here. This grass is really firm to, to drill through with the stakes. Super nice to hammer into, but it's easy to see how if you were in rough terrain or hard terrain, that this would not be very easy. You would need to use six, eight, or 12 inch lag screws to screw down into the soil. So with all the stakes hammered in around the perimeter, we're going to put in the spring bars and the cross member T-bars. All right, so the tent comes with these T-bars here, and I don't know what they're actually called in the manual, but I call them T-bars because they kind of look like a T. And you will notice that they have a nub on one side and they're basically flat on the other. That is important for later. There are two of these posts. These hold the canopy. There are four of these spring bars with a plastic end on one side and then just a blunted end on the other. And then there are these, the main posts that go on the outside. And these main posts connect into a part on the base of the tent and they also connect into these little nubs here. All right, plastic end. Push that through. Push that through. And we connect this to the T-bar. With the nub down. And you can see that that's hitting a stopper in there. So insert all the way to the stopper. Boom, both inserted all the way to the stopper. Other side, same thing here. Push the spring bars all the way through the canvas guides. That and upside down. And push those all the way in to the stopper. So now this part is how you actually extend the top part of the tent outwards. And I'm gonna take these sections together and then push it down into itself like this. And you can see as I do that, how it's extending that out. It's pushing the sides tight like that. So pretty easy there. And then one of these legs will have a metal bar that you can slide over and it goes to a metal stopper over here. So on the bottom side of this part, there's a metal stopper with this post slid over, and then there's a one that you can depress right here when you're ready to slide it back out like this, and then you pull it up to break it apart. And as you can see, that's taking the tension off of the spring bars, folds in, and it, that's super easy. This requires very little effort to do this. You just force it down with your body weight, make sure it's lined up properly, slide that bar over and that's stable. Now the next part, we need to actually erect the tent. We're gonna do one side at a time. So take the main posts here and they are connected with a wire in the middle and there's like a spring inside. <clears throat> I 
lift one side up. Now you can see here that if this tent, if the doors were not open, so it could vent and pull air in, this would be very difficult to do this, to actually erect this part of the tent. And there's a hook on the bottom here, which you can see, nice hook. And we're gonna stick the base of the post into this. <clears throat> so up we go. It takes a little bit of work, but it's not, it's really not that bad. So push that up. And then that connects in like that. And this is holding the tent. All right, other side. Again, there's the metal clip. I'm gonna lift this up. That lifts super easy. And then we're going to insert the pole into the nub, push it all the way. Here's that metal clip that is sewn into the base of the tent. And then just lift it up and in. And there it is. That is the tent set up. All right, now I'm going to go into my tent for the first time and check it out and show you some of the features that are in the tent. So the first is that they're, the zippers have a good pull to them. And there's a rain flap here, which has, looks like one piece of Velcro, two pieces of Velcro, two that I can see. Let's see if there's any up here. Nope, none up there. So there's the door, good zipper pull. And dual zippers on the inside for the, for the mesh. So we've got a nice mesh liner in here. So you can zip the tent shut. And then these also roll up. And there looks to be a good way to secure that here. And going inside, pretty spacious. We have vents here, the vent to the outside on both sides, vents. And I can stand up all the way in here. I am almost 6'2". Let's see. So, you can see about where I am. I have shoes on right now, and I am almost 6'2", and I still have, I still have about nine inches above my head, about, yeah, six to nine inches above my head. And here's what the inside looks like. This is a really nice tent. All the material, all the canvas is pulled tight from those spring bars. It feels really stable. And the stability of this tent comes from staking it into the ground and then these spring bars that are going out here. That's really where the stability comes from. These vents look kind of small. The span of my hand from my pinky finger to my thumb is about nine inches. So you can see that that is about this section is about nine inches here. These vents are pretty small up top. Now the front doors have, there's, I think there's only one door. Yeah, so this unzips. So there's good ventilation in here. And then this unzips. And only one of these sides is the door, but there are doors on both sides of the tent. So that is pretty sweet. And there's these little clips everywhere around here. These are nice. So there's these little plastic clips that you can hook things into. So those are fun. This is how the canopy would look. I didn't bring the guy lines, but this is how it would be. You would just set these posts, the blunt end into the ground. And then this section of the post comes up and goes through a grommet on the on the canopy and then you use the guy line to hook onto this and pull it tight but i didn't bring the guy lines so that isn't going to be filmed today the other side secured in the middle
that is the canopy rolled up. So you can see you can get a lot of ventilation in this tent if you leave those, if you leave the inside flaps down and just close the doors, especially if you have both sides open. Overall, the tent feels really stable. Like I'm <laughs> I am rocking it pretty good here. And as you can see, it is not it is not budging. All right, so I'm almost 6'2". I have shoes on, so with those on, I'm probably 6'2". And you can see how much room I have in this tent. Now, I want to show you how stable the tent is. I'm going to shake it. into the ground with those spring bars tensioning the canvas. So strong tent, really happy with it. So another thing I really like about this tent is the floor is really thick. You probably can't tell in this video, but it's a really heavy duty. It's almost like a PVC coated canvas. In fact, it might be a PVC coated canvas for the entire floor area of the tent. The sides are a good heavy canvas but the floor is PVC coated, which makes it waterproof and also makes it really durable if you're setting up on, on anything that's kind of jagged or uneven, which I wouldn't recommend you set your tent up on something like that. But you know how it is, there's, there's rocks and twigs and debris out on campsites. All right, so that was the setup of the tent and a few things about the tent. Now I'm gonna show you the takedown of the tent. First things first, we're going to take the main support posts out of the base and then disconnect them from the T-bar up here. So that pops right out, and then you can see this just collapses down. Nice. Pull that up, set that aside. Same thing. Okay, like I talked about earlier, the center bar has this little metal button you can press in, and then slip this over it. And it pops up like that. That takes the pressure off. And then you can work these spring bars out from the T-bar. Two of those. Get the other side. Pop those out. And the tent is disassembled now aside from pulling all the stakes and folding it up. So in order to pull the stakes, since I don't have any paracord tied onto them yet for quick pulls, I have a pair of ice grips and a pair of channel lock pliers. Let's see which one I like better. I'll try the channel locks first. Those are pretty smooth. I don't think I need the vice grips. So I don't know what the best way to fold this is going to be, but I think I'm gonna go in half and then in half again and see if that fits in the carrying case that Kodiak gives you with the tent. That seems to work. force the air out as I'm rolling it. Keep my weight on here. It rolls pretty easily. All 
All right, this is the carrying case for the tent. Yeah, that seemed to work. Nice compression straps here. That's a nice feature. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's definitely three compression straps on the back side here. That's super nice. All right, there it is, the Kodiak Canvas 10x10 tent. Overall, I think it's a really good tent. I think it's well made, it feels stable, it feels sturdy. It feels like it's got really good material as well. I'm excited to get out and start using it. Like, subscribe, and leave some comments, ring the notification bell, do all the things. I hope you found the video valuable. Thanks.